And here are the three lipsticks from this collection. Again, they're $14.50 each. On the left, you have Acid Washed. In the middle is Pretty Please, which is actually a permanent color. And then on the right is Riveting Rose. Starting with Acid Washed. This is a glaze. And it's supposed to be a grayish beige and has gold pearls in it. I think that's pretty accurate. Next is Pretty Please, which is a pale pink color and has very fine pearls in it. And once again, that's a permanent color. And last is Riveting Rose. This is a deep burgundy color, and it's supposed to have blue pearl in it, but I don't... Well, actually, I guess you can see, if you sort of move it in the light, there is this sort of blue-toned sheen to it. But I wouldn't call it a pearl, I would just call it sort of a sheen that you get in the finish of the color. Okay, so up close on the left is Acid Washed. In the middle is Pretty Please. And on the right is Riveting Rose. So the left color Acid Washed is a glaze finish. In the middle with Pretty Please, that's a luster. And Riveting Rose on the right is supposed to be a frost. And from left to right, they go in sort of decreasing order of shimmeriness. So definitely Acid Washed is the most sparkly of the three colors. And I would imagine that Acid Washed is a little hard to pull off. It's going to kind of mute out the lips, make them kind of pale and white or grayish looking. And then Pretty Please is just a very neutral and again pale color. So that's more suitable for a wider range of skin colors and skin tones. And then on the right is this nice berry wine color which you could definitely wear for a night out. Here are the three lip glosses that come with this collection. They are just like any other lip gloss that you would find in the regular line, and these cost $14.50 each. From left to right, we have Docile, Indigo Pink, and Painted On, and these are all shimmery colors. Now, Docile on the left is a re-promote from the Fabulous Fiend Lines collection, which just recently came out, um, not, not too long ago, I guess, so you might remember it from that collection. All right, moving on to swatches. First, let's look at Docile. And Mac describes this as a pink peach with gold. And it definitely has pink and peach tones in it. It's very shimmery and it has sort of this duochrome effect. It's not an intense color. It's um, pretty transparent, but it does give a very beautiful sparkle and shine. I'm going to put on two coats just to see what the color would look like. All right, so there's Docile. Next, we have Indigo Pink. And Max says this is a deep burgundy with blue pearl. Well, I'm not sure about the blue pearl. I don't really see the blue in there, but it's definitely um, sort of a deep burgundy color. And again, it's not an opaque color. It's more of a transparent finish that you get, but it is a very nice color. I'll put on a second layer just to show you. You can build up the opacity a little bit by putting on two coats. And last is Painted On, which is a grayish beige color, and it has gold pearls in there. And again, it's a very transparent color. It comes off pretty much clear with, um, with sparkles in it. Let's see what two layers looks like. Doesn't build up any color, just intensifies the sparkles there. Okay, so here we go. Up close, we have Docile, then Indigo Pink, and then Painted On. 
And as you can see, they're not super opaque colors, but they are very pretty and quite shimmery. And certainly the docile color and the painted on color would work with a lot of skin tones because there isn't an intense color there and they're pretty much clear lip glosses with different colored shimmer in them. Now you may have noticed that the lip gloss colors align really well with the lipstick colors and MAC tends to do this a lot. Um, if you saw the lipsticks and the lip glosses from the Wonder Woman collection, you saw that each had a corresponding color and this is pretty much the same in my opinion. So I'm gonna pair up the lip glosses on top of each of these lipsticks just in case you wanna do that. So starting on the left, we have Acid Washed, and I'm going to put Painted On on top of that. So you can just, I mean, as you can see, it's a very similar color, and you can sort of just intensify that lip color from the lipstick. You can also help the longevity of the lipstick that you're wearing by putting a lip color, excuse me, a lip gloss on top of it. On top of Pretty Please, I'm going to put Docile. Okay, and again, as you can see, it doesn't change the underlying lip color, it just kind of intensifies it and gives it a nice lip gloss sheen on top. And then last, on top of Riveting Rose, I'm going to put Indigo Pink. That gives you a really nice finish there. Okay, here are the two powder blushes from this collection. They are $19.50 each. On the left you have Overdyed, which is a satin finish, and on the right you have Pink Cult, which is a matte finish. Let's start with Overdyed. I'm going to use a blush brush to apply it. Okay, and as you can see, this is a mid-tone, very neutral pink color there, and kind of blend it out, and this is the effect that you would get. So here's Pink Cult up close. On the left is sort of a heavier application, and on the right is a more blended out application. And once again, this is a matte finish blush. And it's very neutral in tone, so I think this would work with a lot of skin tones. Of course, if you have very dark skin, this probably wouldn't really show up or might show up ashy. But until you get to a really dark skin tone, this would be a really nice color for everyday wear for a lot of skin colors. All right, here is over dyed. I'm gonna do a heavier swatch first. And this is a bright magenta color. I'm going to do a second layer just to build up that color. All right, and this is a satin finish. And if you wanted a more blended look, then that's kind of the color that you would get. Okay, over dyed up close, and like I said before, it's a satin finish. It looks pretty matte on the skin, but it's not as matte looking as Pink Cult is. And this is a bright magenta color, and you can wear it with a lot of skin tones, but this would definitely be a beautiful color for darker skin tones. Here are the two nail polish colors. These are $14 each. On the left, you have Frayed to Order, and on the right is Biker Blue. And these are both limited edition colors. All right, let's see how Frayed to Order applies. Max says this is a matte white color with soft pink duochrome. So, I mean, maybe the white color is matte, but since it has a duochrome in it, it's going to come off shimmery. So that's what it looks like on the nail with one coat. Try another nail. So it does have a nice duochrome effect. Sort of pink shimmers in it. All 
Now, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but it's drying to sort of a matte finish. Which is a little strange. Let's try a second coat and see what happens. I like the finish with it being shimmery, but I'm not sure about this drying to this kind of dull matte finish here. I wish it would just stay shimmery, but there you go. It's what it looks like. All right, now let's try Biker Blue. And this is, Maxis has a black base and has purple and blue pearls in it. I don't see purple shimmers, but I definitely see the light blue sparkles in there. It's quite pretty. I like this color and the light blue shimmers that it has. Try on the other nail so that that one there can dry. All right, so if you just put one layer on, it's a little transparent, which actually is a nice finish. You can do that with one layer there, but if you want it to be more opaque, you can apply a second layer. It definitely builds up the color and opacity. And you get this beautiful blue shimmer there. I think that's a really nice finish. All right, so there you go with those two colors. All right, so there you go. That's the MAC Genius Collection. Again, make sure to go to the blog for more information and for reviews and for more thorough swatches and photos. And also make sure you check out the Urban Decay Naked Palette giveaway that's going on on the blog. That ends the second week of March, so you do have a little more time to enter that, um, but not too much more time, so make sure you go and enter that. There are also a bunch of other, way other giveaways going on right now, like a Twitter giveaway, a Facebook giveaway. So just go to the blog, check out all those links, and make sure you enter to get a chance to win all these items. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.